Hello friends, once again I welcome you to my channel. Till last video we have seen some numericals on addressing mode. In this video also we are going to solve some numericals. So the numerical is telling us to write assembly language code for the given pseudo code. And while writing this assembly language code, you can apply any addressing mode known to you depending on the given situation, right? And one more data is given. Here P is a pointer to an integer, right? This is one data is given to us. So P equal to 1000. This we need to convert it into assembly language. So see, while solving this one or while writing the assembly language code, here we are going to follow two restrictions. Uh, though nothing is mentioned, but we are going to follow two restrictions because that is applied mostly by most of the architectures. So one restriction is for any instruction, both of the operands will not take in memory. Any addressing mode you apply, but in an instruction, both of the operands will not take in memory. Another one is that means A comma B or any addressing mode you take R1 comma B, nothing like this we are going to use. Another is whenever we will use one uh, immediate mode data, say has 10 comma C we are not going to write. C is a memory operand, right? So here we will write one register. Once again, I am repeating for any instruction, both the operands we are not going to take in memory. Another one is with a constant, another operand we are going to use as a register only. This restriction we are going to apply, right? With that, uh, we, with that um, concept only, we are going to solve the problem, right? And see, for solving one particular uh, pseudo code, you may have many type, many solutions for instructions. I am here giving you one, right? So first one is first one is p uh, equal to one thousand. So whether I am going to write move uh, has one thousand comma p? No, I am not going to do that. Because that is with immediate data, I will be moving one. Immediate data, I will be using one memory operand. So that I am not going to do. So what I have to do, this 1000, I will transfer to a general purpose register. And from that register, we will be moving it into memory location P. Done? So see, what I have written, move has 1000 comma R0. I have used any general purpose register. An assumption is that it is available, right? So here I have written MOVE, you can write MOV also, done. Next one is, so right now the value is in R0, but where I need the value? In memory location P. So what I next do? Move R0 comma P, done. After that, what I need to do? Star P equal to 10. So can I move it, just uh, move uh, 10, move has 10 comma within bracket P? No, it is not possible. So again, I will move my 10 into some processor register. So move has 10 comma R1. Now what I can do, I can use indirect addressing mode to transfer the content of R1. So move R1 comma within bracket P. Why within bracket P? Because P is a pointer. P, uh, at address P, you will get one address. At that address, the content of R1 will be moved, right? Done. Then next, we need to increment P. So it is simple, INC. Increment P, INC P, you can write anything. You can write the complete word or you can write INC also. So P plus plus is done. Then next one is what? D equal to star P plus 20. Again, with memory operand pointed by P, we need to add one value 20. So can I do it directly? No. Again, I am going to use my restriction. So first, 20 will be moved to a general purpose register right so move see here i am uh, using different different registers but once the uses of registers are over you can use that r0 again uh, for the next one also for the third one also you can use r0 right that is also quite possible but here i am using different different registers so because of that i said while solving this or while writing the assembly language code you may have different code than whatever i am telling you right so, but you need to understand the approach. So move has to 20 comma R2 in a register, I move the value. And then with that, I need the content of memory location pointed by P. So this one is, this one is done. And this result has to be moved to D. So what I'll use, move R2 comma D. 
understood or not actually this is just giving me a flavor of how to write assembly language code here we have not used very very big big of codes simply i have used what move add increment and these already we have seen so far in our lectures so far in our videos right and the concept of addressing mode is also clear but only remember while solving this we have used two restrictions both the operands we are not keeping in memory for a single instruction and another one is with immediate data the next operand we are not using as a memory operand rather it is a register so this one is clear then next we will be seeing another one more so see this one is given that uh, two columns are given then one side is given like your assembly uh, your high level language statements so whenever this type of high level language statements are used that time the generated assembly language code for those set of instructions which addressing modes are the most suitable one that we need to match right so see a uh, a1 equal a i equal to b j or a1 equal to b j that this is one array so in case of array most appropriate one is what base address then you are adding one two three that indexes so it will be your index addressing mode right this one is index addressing mode then while star a plus plus so when i see this plus plus i understand that after each element accessing we are incrementing the content of memory location a that means auto increment will be the applicable one and this one is what pointer concept so in our last example also we have seen when the pointers are coming we are using memory indirect addressing mode so we are telling it indirect addressing mode so this matching is understood so see i'll show you this one is this this one is this and the first one is index this matching is clear then the next one one more is there so what is there indirect mode index mode base register auto increment and the right side some situations are given so already we know index mode we will apply with array right then indirect indirect mode will apply with what a uh, passing array as a parameter because there we pass the address right so indirect mode will take this then auto increment auto increment is this one because you may get confused you have not seen base register addressing mode this is actually used for relocating your code right so base register can uh, offsetting will be used for relocatable code what is relocatable code in your memory you have placed your code somewhere suppose starting from here now suppose due to some situation you see in operating system due to some situation this code has to move to some other memory location let's say here so see for each of the instruction the distance from the beginning will remain the same for the ne consecutive instructions but their starting is going to change so that starting change you have to apply for all of them so that is after doing that the code is relocated to this location relocatable means see like the way we are relocating to some new location right so like that only in memory your code is relocated relocatable to some other location so to where you are moving to what is the difference between the first one and the second one that will be added to all the instructions addresses then you will get the address for relocated code right so this much is done in this video then i'll do one more one so see this is another very simple one write the equivalent instructions for zero address as well as one address on organization if this is given to us this is given us in which organization general purpose register organization and under that we are looking at two address instructions right so see what it is doing move p comma r1 so in r1 we are sending the value of p then what we are doing in r1 we are transferring the value of p then in second one what we are doing sub q comma r1 so r1 will be holding what p minus q basically right then div r r comma r1 that means r1 is going to hold p minus q by r right then next we are multiplying it by s so next we are multiplying it by s right then this result is transferred to x so this they are asking us to do in zero address so we can easily do p minus q first you need to do then multiply by r then sorry divide by r then multiply by s so first what we will do 
first we will push p onto the stack right because the operands has to be moved to stack then only we can apply the instructions so push p first we'll do as in zero address push p then push q both the operands are there now we'll perform sub sub operation is performed then you need to divide by r so what you will do first you need to move r to the stack so push r then d and then you move s to the stack that is push s and then lastly not lastly after that it is multiplication after doing this result has to be stored in memory location x so what i will do for that for x this is clear because already we have uh, seen two bigger numericals using all the formats so it is kind of clear to us this is simpler one this is zero address next one is they have asked us to do it using one address also so for one address only load and store are used and one of the operand is in the accumulator so first your operand has to be loaded into accumulator right so load p so what it is basically doing inside accumulator it is sending the content of memory location p right and then sub q r1 that means accumulator in accumulator you are going to store the result of this right sorry it is sub it is sub right so load p then sub q do not write load q then it will be a disaster right load p then your sub q this will be done after that so that means p minus q is in the uh, p minus q is there in the accumulator with this result we need to divide by r so this is as a whole result is there we will simply do d bar it is some uh, kind of easier one the next is with this one what with the result of division we need to multiply s so what i'll do very simple mul s then the whole result is in accumulator from accumulator you need to move the result to your memory location x so for that what we'll be using store instruction you remember right so store x so these are some examples we have seen hope this example is clear suppose sometime they may also ask you suppose they will give in some addressing mode uh, some solution then you may uh, need to form the what is the expression they are evaluating right so we should understand there what is that syntax properly then we can easily get the expression also so this one is also a one interesting numerical we have completed so in this video i'll discuss up to here then in next video one more video will be coming on numericals till then thank you so much and if you are liking my videos and you are getting my, from my videos then please do like my videos and share my channel sorry subscribe to my channel thank you